Right now we're playing Eternal Kings. It's a board game that's like chess and Magic the Gathering. You got me horny. Uh, what's the goal of uh, Eternal Kings? Same as in normal chess, you want to try and get your opponent's king. Uh, you want to take him off the board, kill him, and make sure he's not going to come back and make things life tough for you later. So what's the Magic the Gathering part? How does that come in? So we've got these additional cards called ability cards, and we also have abilities printed on the pieces themselves. Oh. So they change how the piece might move or how it interacts with other pieces. Is Eternal Kings only for, like, mega nerds? It is not only for mega nerds. It's got gorgeous art. It's got beautiful pieces. It's got things that, you know, the chess nerds come in and they're like, oh my gosh, I love the chess. And the comic book nerds come in and go, oh my god, I love the art. And then the gamer nerds like me come in and we go, oh my god, this game. What's the nerdiest thing you've ever done at a Comic-Con? The nerdiest thing I have ever done at a Comic-Con? Uh, I have spent four hours in the anime rooms watching back-to-back -back anime. Oh, and I sat through a 300 panel, no idea what it was, just to get into the Grindhouse panel that year. What animes were you watching? Oh, I watched, a uh, big one from that night was uh, Shamanic Princess. What's that about? It's about a magical, invested woman who goes around and fights monsters and tries to not destroy the world while the world is trying to destroy itself. Pretty deep. It's not. Oh. <laughs>